Hello everyone. Today we are going to see on the topic of hydrosphere, which is a continued topic of segments of uh, biosphere. In the last lecture, uh, if you have just reminded of yourself, we are clear that we had started with the topic of the segments of biosphere and we had also looked forward for the condition why the segments are important to study. Also, we had moved forward with some of the basic segment studies and we had studied the very first segment of our uh, biosphere and that is called as atmosphere. So in the last lecture, we had seen something about the atmosphere. We had also seen about what are the major uh, subdivisions or subparts of atmosphere. So you might have just done with a revision of the atmosphere. If not, you should go through and thoroughly study the layers of atmosphere itself because these are the questions which are repeatedly asked in your final examinations and class tests also. So after the, tropo, uh, after the atmospheric study, we had seen that atmosphere gives us a major part for living. That is, it is one of the cause or it is one of the element or it is one of the segment because of which the human can survive easily. Reason is because it provides air, it provides water, water in the form of water vapor and rain water. It also helps and provides a form of protection layer from the viral asteroids, UV radiations or any other kind of microbial attack which can occur due to uh, external forces. Also, we had seen that the atmosphere or the layers of the atmosphere or the segments of the atmosphere are important for the reason because these segments are uh, an element of survival of uh, humans. For example, if we had seen uh, the kind of organism that is especially the birds, for example, we had seen one Ralph vulture. So we find that this kind of organism has a very different kind of living status and we know that these living status need to be studied and because we have to study these living status and organism, henceforth we have to look forward for the typical part of the segments of atmosphere. Similarly, we had also seen and which are the major questions which were asked now and then are where does the Mount Everest actually occur? What is the different temperature zones? What is the variation in the temperature? Why is there variation in the temperature? How this temperature actually manages the Earth's temperature? How organisms survive or what is the usefulness or what is the harmfulness if there is a change in the temperature of the atmospheric levels? Also, we had seen that uh, these type of layers or these type of segments have an important role for the human survival from an economical point of view also. The economical point of view we have seen that the airlines, the spacecraft, space shuttles, all these kinds of uh, equipments which are modernized kind of technology which the human are using is none other than the part of our atmosphere because they have a specific uh, time zone, they have a specific distance zone, they have a specific uh, area of revolution, rotation in which they can stay, in which they can capture the images and pass on to the earth. Henceforth, atmosphere is one of the major unit. Today, we'll look forward for a second important and major unit and that is called as a hydrosphere. So basically, what do you mean by hydrosphere? So hydrosphere is nothing else, but in a brief, if you want to uh, just remember one thing in one sentence, but it is just a brief, I would rather suggest that the uh, notes given in the PPT should be taken down because these are the notes which are actually uh, drawn out from the last paper. Henceforth, I would rather suggest you that you should take down all these notes 
and after taking down these notes it would be helpful much more helpful rather to understand the concepts also go through the concepts so let's move on to hydrosphere uh, so hydrosphere as the name itself suggests it is hydro and sphere it is made up of two different words that is hydro and sphere and hydro itself means water okay and sphere is something a round body so we find that the earth is of course now it's a proven idea that earth is a globe actually that means it is a round in shape or spherical in shape rather i would say and because this is spherical in shape so it has a, a complete area surrounded by a water body and that water body or uh, this type of system of water body when it is combined together okay we will be talking about the hydrosphere in a combined form we are not talk talking about the hydrosphere in a single form that is uh, maybe a river or maybe an ocean or maybe a uh, any kind of a pond not like that we are actually talking about hydrosphere from the point of view when uh, combined in a total amount so basic idea you have to keep in mind that hydrosphere is nothing else but a total amount of water on a planet okay now this total amount of water on the planet can be on the planet under the and above the surface level okay now when we are talking about the surface level i mean that we are going to look forward from the point of view of earth because our next topic would be something related to earth so you have to look forward from the point of view of earth so the water on the earth the water under the earth and water above the earth surface will be called as that means a combined form addition form compiled form will be called as a hydrosphere and this hydrosphere though appears to be somewhat a minor in category but yet it is one of the major source for the living organism now this hydrosphere uh, is somewhat that means we have mentioned it in the three form that is on the under and above so on that means which will be visibly to your eye, visible to your eyes that means oceans rivers ponds etc etc so which is visible to your eyes it may also includes some of the kind of water sources for example uh, the icebergs or any kind of liquid sources which is actually easily available to your uh, eyes that means you can see it that is called as on the water now the underwater concept means the water which is present in the canals of the earth that means the earth is also having capillaries now what do you mean by capillaries it is a kind of vein system jaise hamare body mein veins hote hain blood veins hote hain usi tarike se earth ke andar bhi veins hote hain jise hum internal capillaries kehte hain and these capillaries carry the water like our body veins carry blood nutrient similarly the capillaries or internal capillaries carry actually the minerals and water okay so that is called as a under source the third one that is above source so above source is very easy we have seen in the last itself uh, last uh, segment also that there is one of the part that is especially in the troposphere where you can find that there are thunderstorms generating that means there is a creation of the atmosphere or there is a creation of a part which is called as a rain and when you talk about the above that means we are talking about the cloud we are talking about the fog we are talking about about the water vapors so that is something we are calling about the above sources so these above sources under sources and on sources of the planet make actually a combined source of hydrosphere so now you can imagine how much more water could be there but is it possible that the water has just emerged all of a sudden no the answer to this is water has 
almost arised or the formation actually of water has been started of about 4 billion years ago and it is still now continuing. The only thing which is changing is the shape and the sources of water. That means shape in the sense I am using the word reason is because water contains minerals. You are also aware with the idea about it that water is not in a pure form that is H2O. It is not that simple but it actually is a combination of minerals and when these minerals are combined we call it as a change in the shape of the water okay the next one is hydrosphere is caused for the sea flow spreading and continental drift which rearranges a land ocean now let's understand the sentence it means uh, hydrosphere which is caused uh, which is formed that means whatever the water bodies we see uh, for example oceans or for example uh, rivers or for examples for that case maybe any well we find that these hydrosphere are basically formed or these structures of bodies are basically formed because of the sea floor spreading uh, the sea floor spreading means it is actually a process in which आपका मिड ओशन जो होता है ऐसे कंसीडर कीजिए कि आप एक ओशन को स्टडी कर रहे हो ओशन की स्टडी में आपको क्या करना होगा स्टडी आपको उसका सिर्फ अबव सरफेस नहीं स्टडी करना है दैट मींस मुझे आपसे ये एक्सपेक्टेड नहीं है कि मैं बोलूंगी कि आप ओशन स्टडी करोगे तो आप मुझे सिर्फ ज्योग्राफिकल एरियाज दोगे I mean आप उसकी वाटर कंटेंट स्टडी करोगे वाटर बॉडी बॉडी स्टडी करोगे बट एट द सेम टाइम you are going to study the crust of the ocean okay just keep in mind the word crust we will come on this word in the next unit but at present you have to keep in mind the word that is ocean crust so we will be studying the ocean crust that means jahan pe sea khatam hoti hai you will find that the sea is vast okay i'm saying the sea ends that means you have to go deep inside the sea you have to go deep inside the hydrosphere and you'll find that there is no end but actually there is a part of end in this uh, end part of the ocean is called as an crust oceanic crust and basically this oceanic crust is formed through volcanic activity so volcanic eruption sabko pata hai that is a uh, famous concept which we all know that is because of earthquake and oceanic uh, sorry volcanic activity what our earth is there uh, changing or uh, has changed is a capability of only the volcanic activity so similarly goes with sea floor spreading when you go with sea floor spreading you'll find ki jahan pe volcano activity hoti hai volcano activity sirf aur sirf earth surface pe nahi hogi but it will also take place in the oceans deep oceans also okay so whatever the mountains we see whatever the peaks we see whatever the valleys also we see it is nothing else but an activity of volcano eruption similarly is with the oceans so you can find there are small islands in the oceans or in the seas and these islands are nothing else but there is a volcanic eruption millions of years back and this activity has created a island over there so that is called as volcanic activity because of this volcanic activity kya hota hai there is a shifting okay that means jaise earthquake aane ke baad mein earth plates shift hoti hai agar aap bahut zyada severe amount mein earthquake dekhte ho kisi place pe to you can find on the videos you can just go and search on that these videos show that the earth is moving what does it mean by earth is moving that means the floor is spreading out Okay, that means plates hill rahi hai. So, earth kaise bana hua hota hai humara? Plates se bana hota hai. So, you can understand this concept very clearly uh, in the next unit. But at present, keep in mind that the earth plates shifts. And that is called as sea floor spreading. Also, uh, it is continental drift. Now, what do you mean by continental drift? Uh, it was basically a theory. Okay, that with time uh, the geography of earth has changed so continental drift ka matlab hota hai ki earth 
ऐसे ही नहीं बना हुआ है दैट मीन्स uh, जो हमारे कॉन्टिनेंट्स है जो हमारे पार्ट्स uh, है एक साथ आए हुए या फिर जिसे स्प्रेड आउट हो चुका है वाटर बॉडी से जो स्प्रेड आउट हो चुका है इट वॉज नॉट एक्चुअली द थिंग विच वॉज देयर फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स बैक एक्चुअली दिस कंसेप्ट वॉज गिवन बाई एब्राहम और मैं स्पेल कर रही हूँ आप लिख के ले सकते हो इट इज ए बी आर ए एच ए एम एब्राहम और ओ आर टी ई एल आई यू एस ओके दिस पर्सन हैज एक्सप्लेन ही वॉज बेसिकली अ जियोलॉजिस्ट एंड दिस पर्सन हैज एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट दैट अर्थ वॉज एक्चुअली अ बॉल ओके ये हमें सबको पता है कि अर्थ वो एक्चुअली बॉल था बट अर्थ बॉल कैसे था इन अ सेंस इमेजिन कीजिए कि सारा लैंड एरिया एक तरफ है ओके एंड सारा वाटर बॉडी एक तरफ है देर वॉज नो सच डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट्स एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ओशन एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सीज रादर द कम्प्लीट अर्थ वॉज वन लैंड एरिया वॉज एट वन प्लेस दैट मीन्स हम कह सकते हैं कि द इंडिया वॉज एक्चुअली नॉट सेपरेटेड बाई द थ्री साइड्स ओके जैसे हम देखते हैं दैट आर वेस्टर्न पार्ट सम ऑफ द वेस्टर्न पार्ट सम ऑफ द ईस्टर्न पार्ट एंड साउथ पार्ट मेजरली द साउथ पार्ट इज कवर्ड विद वॉटर बॉडी एंड श्रीलंका इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम इंडिया बाई अ स्मॉल वॉटर बॉडी एरिया ओके दिस वॉज नॉट द केस फॉर सम मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स बैक देन वॉट हैपन्ड देर वॉज एक्चुअली द वोल्कैनिक इरप्शन जिसे हम अर्थ क्विक कहेंगे एंड दिस वोल्कैनिक इरप्शन अंडर द सी दैट इज अर्थ क्विक अंडर द सी कॉज अ शिफ्टिंग ऑफ द प्लेट्स अभी मैंने बोला था अर्थ की प्लेट शिफ्ट होती है सो दिस शिफ्टिंग ऑफ द प्लेट्स कॉज अ ग्रेट चेंज इन द अर्थ एंड द ग्लोब That means अब क्या हुआ था जो कॉन्टिनेंट्स है वो सेपरेट होना शुरू हो गए थे कैसे सेपरेट होना शुरू हो गए थे द कॉन्टिनेंट्स सेपरेटेड इन सच अ वे दैट दे फॉर्म्ड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एरियाज अकॉर्डिंग टू द पार्ट्स दैट मीन्स उनके टुकड़े टुकड़े हो गए थे एंड वी हैव गॉट यूरोपियन कॉन्टिनेंट एशियन कॉन्टिनेंट अफ्रीकन कॉन्टिनेंट ओके सो दैट इज द पार्ट एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट सो कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट का कंसेप्ट दिया था एब्राहम और सेड दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द शिफ्टिंग ऑफ द प्लेट्स बिकॉज ऑफ द शिफ्टिंग ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंटल पार्ट्स द कंप्लीट एरिया ऑफ अर्थ एट हाइड्रोस्पियर हैज चेंज इट सेल्फ दैट मीन्स अब हमें क्या दिख रहा है जैसे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट हमें ये दिखते हैं स्पेसेस दिखते हैं डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लैंड एरियाज दिखते हैं वैसे ही हमें डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अब ओशंस दिखना शुरू हो जाएंगे सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट व्हिच वी सी इन हाइड्रोस्पियर एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस आर द क्वेश्चन रेज्ड वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली एंड दैट इज द एस्टिमेटेड वॉटर एरिया फॉर द अर्थ ओके नाउ कीप इन माइंड talking about earth itself only it is 1800 sorry 386 million cubic meters okay now it seems to be very large but actually it is not that large reason is because this land area that means abhi jo humne bola tha that is 1386 million cubic kilometer This water area is actually a formation. जैसे हमने पहले कहा था it is a formation and combination of all the hydrospheres together. So basically, it is a combination of the groundwater, oceans, lakes, and streams. And now you can consider that why did I say it is not more enough? Reason is because you cannot drink ocean water. You cannot drink sea water. At the same time, you also cannot use and drink the glacier water. Even though the glaciers are being studied to have a taste of water which is sweet or somewhat neutral in kind, yet we cannot consume it. Reason is because of the minerals. So minerals basically play a major role to give a taste to your water body. Okay. 
so we find that the hydrosphere which we have seen to be very huge actually the huge part is that is salt water so our complete earth is covered with 97.5 percent of salt water these questions were asked in the last examinations also and we have made mistakes by small amount reason was because it was asked in a form of ratio for salt water is to fresh water and the ratio was basically given as 98 sorry 97 is to 3 and here we make a confusion so basically the answer is 97 is to 3 but for a much declaration or much appropriate answer you have to keep in mind that the salt water that is sea water ocean water it is basically having a percentage area covering the percentage area or land area or globe of our earth of around 97.5 percent while that of fresh water just that means the water which we can use okay we cannot use salt water directly it is impossible but it is in more amount we can use fresh water directly or indirectly by the processing methods but it is in very less amount that is only 2.5 percent but now there is again a very big trick even though the earth surface gives us 2.5 percent of water to drink yet we cannot use the 2.5 percent of water also reason is because out of the 2.5 percent 68.9 percent of water is in the form of ice and i don't think anyone would be able to consume the water as ice directly to fulfill their thirst basically more important is this water is present in the arctic and antarctic zone okay this is glaciers that means where water consumption is impossible ho jata hai. reason is because it is having or it is actually floating in the area of sea water okay glaciers are there on the upper part and the lower part of our globe that is arctic and antarctic part but these mountain glaciers are there in the sea water and minerals which these glaciers or ice contains are impossible for a person normal person to take in henceforth we cannot consume it now the second part then how much part do we take from this 22.5 percent so 68 almost 69 percent is lost in uh, ice the remaining 30.8 percent is a fresh ground water okay and only 0.3 percent is fresh water on the earth now what does it mean this 30.8 percent is a fresh water which is underground underground in the sense you have to bore dig the bore or a well deep inside the earth surface and you have to find out the capillary or you have to find out the vein of the earth water source okay if possible i will show you in the next lecture how does the capillary uh, present or how do the capillaries are there can you can we present the capillaries i'll just try but at present up yaad rakhoge the 38 percent of water is underground okay you cannot easily extract it if able to extract it for example we hum wells karte hai, jaise ki hum, uh, uh, borings karte hai, we do it we use it but is it possible to use this water as it is no you have to actually filter this water this water source and then use it because it has a huge amount of salt content so henceforth you have to uh, purify the water and what we use actually is only 0.3 percent of fresh water that means the water which we drink from the dam sources what the government provides us is basically only 0.3 percent of fresh water that means in the reservoirs lakes dams river systems etc etc so basically hydrosphere has a major role and we are consuming this hydrosphere very largely but it is actually present in a very small amount so the total mass of the hydrosphere on the earth up till now is 1.4 into 10 to the power 18 tons this was also the question asked in the last examination and atmosphere kitna hai hume? that is only 20 
uh, into 10 to the power 12 tons of water. That means average water consumption हम कितना कर सकते हैं if eliminated out from uh, the complete water body sources. अगर हम salts निकाल दे, minerals निकाल दे, तो हम कितना use कर पाएंगे? That is only 3.5 percent of the water source will be available. Now because this source is very uh, very very much limited it is helpful to study some kind of other sources also for example if you are very clear about the hydrosphere you will be able to understand the basic water cycle and how does the water cycle acts that means how does the groundwater act how does the atmosphere water acts how does the stream river lake aquifers Polar ice caps. We have a word discussed here. That is Arctic and, and uh, Antarctic glaciers. So basically, they can also be called as polar ice caps. Okay, ice caps in a sense because they are at the extreme top of our globe. Henceforth, polar ice caps. Uh, how does gravity work for the hydrosphere? Then, how does evaporation take place? Sublimation take place? Etc. Etc. So if the concept of hydrosphere if the calculation of the hydrosphere if the use of the hydrosphere by the human that is only 0.3 percent is very much clear we can co continue these hydrosphere study with the help of water cycles also uh, you can also study if the hydrospheres are very much clear you can also study that around th one third part of our complete globe has a free flowing of water but these free flowing of water cannot be used as drinking water sources okay so basically there is a drastic change in the hydrosphere reason is because we are polluting the hydrosphere we are using the hydrospheres for the company for example we are using the water for farming uh, normally जो हम देखते हैं वो तो है दैट मींस फॉर बाथिंग कुकिंग क्लीनिंग वॉशिंग एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा बट उससे आगे भी अगर हाइड्रोस्फीयर को स्टडी किया जाए तो विल फाइंड दैट वी आर कंज्यूमिंग द 0.3% वेरी बैडली दैट इज फॉर इंडस्ट्रीज देन फॉर फार्मिंग देन फॉर अदर डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स और मे बी motor vehicle products etc etc so basically whatever the use is there that means for your uh, production for your any kind of production for your mechanical production for your uh, food products for your different kind of resources which are available to you at present in your hand for example a kind of juices etc etc the basic idea is you are using this 0.3% only. That means यही 0.3% हम directly पीने के लिए भी use करते हैं और यही 0.3% हम क्या कर रहे हैं industries में farmings में भी use कर रहे हैं. So it becomes a very challenging part for the earth and the hydrosphere to fulfill the thirst of around millions of peoples at one time. Okay? So this was something related to hydrosphere. Uh, you can just go forward with the study of the hydrosphere and after you study on the hydrosphere, you can just note it down. Till then, study hard.